Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and run WordPress on Engine X on Windows on your local computer. So we're going to use something that is similar to ZAMP and WAMP and any of those applications, but this is for Engine X. So let me go to Google and I'm going to search for it and you're, you're also going to need to install it if you don't have it. And it's called WinNMP. So Win and MP, that's for Windows, Nginx, MariaDB, and PHP. So if I just click on that, so once you get to this website, Win and MP, that is for Windows, Nginx, MariaDB, and PHP CGI. So you'll just come here under Downloads and click on Downloads so that you can download the application. So once you download it, just install it. So I've already downloaded it and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start installing it. So just double click on it. So of course you know how to install applications on Windows and just go ahead and finish installing it. And once you install it, just run it. And okay, let me just continue on with this. And there are certain things that you're going to need to download. So you can see here that MariaDB MariaDB doesn't come by default. So you're going to have to download MariaDB and then you're also going to have to download, you're also going to have to download uh, Redis. It's just three MB, so it's very small, just three MB. And then PHP, you're going to need PHP, whichever version that you want for PHP. And for me, of course, there are certain situations where you may need to use the older versions 5.6 and you also need PHP 7.2. You can click to go ahead. It's going to start downloading these things. So once you install it, uh, just open it up and open it up. So actually for me, this is an update. So I'm going to wait for it to finish downloading these things. But for now, I'm just going to close it, cancel it. I'll do this later on. But right now I have it running here. So the other one is just an update for me. So once you open it, you can choose the PHP version that you want to use. And for me, I chose PHP 7.2. And that's the only thing that you need to choose here. So you can see I already have a few projects here. And so let's see how you can create a new project WordPress so that you can install. Let's see how we can create a new project so that you can install WordPress on that project. And the first thing, of course, you're going to need a database for WordPress. So here on the MariaDB, just click on the home button and that will open the windows and log you in to MariaDB for MySQL. So here I'll just create, I'll just create a new database and let me call it sample. And once I save that, that's all I need to do there. Then I'll come back. So it doesn't come down here. You'll probably find it in your tray icons. If you come here to your tray icons, you're going to find it. But for me, I've dragged it down here so that I can easily access it. And then once you create the DB, of course, you're going to need to create the project and to create a new project. You're just going to click on this. You see this, which says new project. Just click on create new project and you can give it a name. Let me call it sample. And then Once you do that, just press on save and that will save the project and it will bring this up for you. So you can see it enables a virtual server and that will enable you to use this. It will enable you to use this as the link to your site. Okay. And then since you're going to use WordPress, there's a very important part that we're going to deal with later on. So right now, after doing this, let me just click on save so that you can have the project online. And if I click here, the project should be available for us. And you can see that's available for us. So let's install WordPress on this. Let's install WordPress on this so that we can see how to work with WordPress. So I will go into, I will go into the folder, the root folder, and it's just like in ZAMP. If, you, if you're used to using ZAMP, you can just go directly under the C drive. You will find it there. Where is it? So let me come here. 
And if I go under the C drive, I'm going to see this win NMP. And if I go into the WW folder, and then I can just add my WordPress file here. And I already have WordPress downloaded. I already have WordPress downloaded somewhere. I can use that. I think it's on the desktop. If I just come in here. Yes, I can use this WordPress. I'll just drag it in here. And that with that, I can install this WordPress. So this will be the project that you'll be working with. You can, of course, you can rename it. Let me rename it to something similar to the other one, which is sample. Or rather, oh, I already have it in here. So let me just, let me copy this and then bring it in here. So by renaming it, they automatically brought everything in here and that's really nice. Replace the file. So the point is you just bring your WordPress files inside of, inside of this folder. And I forgot that the folder was already created automatically when I created the project using this. Okay, so if we come into sample.test right now, it's going to prompt me to install WordPress. And that's what we want. Okay, so continue. Let's go. And then the database name that we created was sample. And then the username for the default username for MySQL usually is root. And by default, there usually ain't no password. So that's it. So if I submit, they should install WordPress. And then run the installation. Okay, so let me just call it sample. Sample, and then I can call it some, and then this one also sample. I don't really need to think, think about all this too much sample and then yes confirm use of the weak password and then of course discourage search engines and then install wordpress oh yeah i haven't added an email here so add your email and just go to the next step all right so let's log into our site because they still one thing we need to confirm, there's still one thing that we need to confirm on our website. All right, so you can see that this is the, this is a link that we had chosen. This is a link that was chosen for us. And you can just use that since you're using this on your local WordPress, on your local Windows computer, it doesn't really matter. So you can just use that sample.test there. Or you can change it in the file and I'll show you where you can change it. So the first thing I want to look at here is I want to go into general settings just to make sure that the home URL and the site URL are set to that. All right, that's accurate. So when you're installing this, make sure when you're visiting this website, you install it by visiting this. If you visit localhost slash sample, it's going to give you localhost slash sample here, which is not what you want. So the next thing is permalinks. So permalinks are not going to work by default. Okay, so you'll see that if I click on this permalinks, the pretty permalinks, and then I save these changes. Then let me go to, let me go to the front end. And if I come to the front end and I look at this, you'll see that the link it shows us down here is the correct permalink, the correct pretty permalink. But if I come there, it shows me that this, this is a 404. So what you need to do is let's come back into, let's come back into, win NMP and then on this the project that on the project that we've created let's click on this and then we need to go in here okay we, we need to go and edit the nginx virtual server so here if you scroll down you're going to see something this configuration for various php frameworks so what you can see here is that you can install this for any of these any php frameworks that you're going to see in this list so if I double click on this, it's going to give us all those. So any of this, you can install and run them on 
You can install them and run them using WinNMP via Nginx and PHP CGI. So if you want to use PHP and CGI for any of this, you'll just come here and you'll click on whichever for us we're using WordPress. You can see there's Drupal up there, there's all those others. And then I'll copy this. Once I copy this, I can just bring it all the way down here. Make sure you add it before this final one. And then once I save this and I come back here and I just click on save there and then I kill Nginx and then start Nginx again. And then I come back here and uh, if I reload this, it should now work. So that's how you can run WordPress on your local Windows computer using Nginx, PHP, Nginx, PHP CGI, and, and, and MariaDB. So the DB, the database connector, that, the, the database that you're using is being powered by MariaDB, as you can see here, MariaDB. And you can see Redis is also active for our server. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. And you've also seen that if you come here, you can install all these others, all these others there. So if you don't like to use Apache like me because of the amount of resources that it consumes, even on the local computer, you can just go ahead and use Nginx. That's the only reason. That's the only reason I use Nginx. And in this case, PHP CGI, okay? There's also PHP FPM, but in this case, they chose PHP CGI. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will see you next time in another video.